What's good, BitRushers? My name's D5Brains, and you are watching BitRush Crypto. Today's video, we're going to be doing an updated how-to guide on how to stake sand. This time, it's going to be on the Polygon Network, formerly known as Matic. I did have a past video that's a little outdated on staking sand, so now that we've switched to the Polygon Network and things are a little bit different, I just wanted to do an updated video for you, so hopefully you do enjoy and learn a little something along the way. If that all sounds good, do stick around, but first make sure you tap that thumbs up button, sub to my channel if you aren't already, and if you'd like to know as soon as I drop a video, make sure the bell is on to be notified. You can also leave me a comment, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what other content you'd like to see from me, and you can find links in the description for all of my social media and everything related to today's video. So without further ado, let's get into it. I did recently launch a new NFT and gaming company called Abraxas. We are going to be a DAO, the Abraxas DAO. So follow us over on Twitter as well at Abraxas underscore DAO. We got lots of cool giveaways and whitelists if you're part of our Discord server. So join that as well and make sure you retweet one of these if you want whitelist spot on any of the projects that we got going. We're going to start over at the official sandbox kind of wiki here or whatever it's called the gitbook io and this will be linked in the description if you need more information about what we're doing in today's video or anything else related to the project they do have a fairly extensive documentation here so make sure you make use of that introduction says sand holders who provide liquidity on the Sandmatic pairs on Polygon will be eligible to share a monthly allocation of sand. Rewards are distributed pro rata relative to the trader's percentage of the total liquidity over the course of a one month period. So that's key to keep in mind that you are gonna wanna keep these staked for at least 30 days so you do receive those rewards. In order to stake liquidity within the program, you'll need to provide LP tokens, which stands for liquidity provider tokens. They represent the amount of tokens that you have locked within the liquidity pool. Below is the guide that will teach you everything you need to know. So the first thing is you need to go to your profile, log in with your MetaMask or your email over on Sandbox, and then go to the staking tab. From here, you're able to collect the SAN slash Matic network, or if you want, it's basically the same process, and I already have a video on that that will be linked in the description below on providing liquidity on the ETH network. But for today's video, just make sure you pick the purple one here, the MSAN hyphen Matic pair. Next, you'll need to approve LP tokens. Note that if your wallet is not currently on the Polygon mainnet, you will be required to switch the network. You'll need to sign an approval transaction in your wallet, which gives permission to basically stake your tokens. After you've signed that transaction, you can now click the deposit button and a prompt will appear asking you to enter the amount of LP tokens that you'd like to stake. Looks a little something like this. And finally, if you don't have any LP tokens, you can click the quick swap link shown in the image to get redirected to the pool interface on Uniswap or QuickSwap, depending if you're using Matic or Ethereum network. Uniswap's going to be for Ethereum, QuickSwap for Matic slash Polygon. You're going to need to swap for equal parts of Sand and Matic and then add your tokens to the staking pool, which you will receive LP tokens in return. And you can come back here and deposit them for that staking. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that process now. Just wanted to quickly go through it on the guide here, just in case you guys have any questions, make sure it's nice and clear, but I'll give you the visual representation and show you step-by-step -step on how to get it done right now. Coming over to the Sandbox website and clicking on profile, you can see I'm already logged in here and mine is at BitRush9000. And so I'm ready to go. From here, I can just click on the staking tab. From here, you have another option, which is why I wanted to show you this. You also have the ability to bridge sand. So if you already own sand on the Ethereum network, you can actually bridge it over. It will cost you a little bit of gas. I'm not planning on doing that today. Instead, I'm just gonna trade for some Matic and Polygon that I already have over on the Polygon network, trade that for sand. And so I'll show you guys that now, but I did just wanna let you know that is an option if you already own sand. All right, you can come on over to quickswap.exchange and I do have a link for that in the description. If you guys need help using the exchange or swapping over Ethereum over to the Polygon network, I have a video on how to bridge and how to do LP over here. So a lot of good videos, I'll have them all linked in the description below. 
From here, what we need to do is make sure we have equal parts of Matic and Sand in our wallet on the Polygon network. So I already have some Matic. You can see about 865 Matic in my wallet. Keep in mind, you never want to spend the full amount anyway, because you do need a little bit to transact on the network. In addition to that, we're going to need equal parts or equal value, dollar value in Matic and Ethereum. So I'm going to select my token. From here, we can just type in Sand and choose the sand option. I'm looking to stake about 800 Matic worth, so I'm just gonna trade half of that, which would be 400 Matic into sand. Looks like that's gonna give me about 192 sand. I'm gonna up it to 420 and we'll have about 201 sand. It looks a little bit better to me, so you guys choose whatever's right for you. Again, just keep in mind that to provide liquidity, you do need equal parts of both tokens. Go ahead and click the swap button and then confirm swap if everything looks good. Going to need to sign that transaction in your wallet and just wait for a confirmation. If you'd like to verify that transaction on the network, you can open up your wallet here, click on the transaction and click view on block explorer. I should also mention that if you need help on switching over your MetaMask wallet or adding the Matic network to your MetaMask wallet. I have a video on that as well. It's the same one as the quick swap video, but there has been a few updates on the Matic network since that video. So I'll go ahead and leave the new information in the description below. And if you need to just copy and paste out of the description here, there we go. That transaction has been confirmed on the network. Once that transaction catches up with QuickSwap, you'll be able to see now our new balance is 445 Matic and I do have 202 Sand. So from here, now that we have those equal parts of Sand and Matic, we're ready to provide liquidity. To do that, up at the top here, we're just gonna click on Pool. Um, from this point, we're just going to create pair. The same thing as before, we're gonna have to choose the secondary token in addition to Matic. And so we just need to click here and it should already be up at the top or you can search again. I'm gonna max out my sand and it should automatically choose the right amount of Matic based on the total amount of sand that I would like to provide. Once you have the pair and the proper amount chosen, you can see it tells you the exact amount of sand per Matic, the Matic per sand, and the percent of the pool you have. Obviously, because I'm working with small numbers, I'm gonna have a very small percentage of the pool. If everything looks good though, just go ahead and approve. This will prompt another MetaMask transaction. You're gonna have to wait for that transaction to approve, and then we can supply. I'm not sure why, but my first transaction did fail. I'm just gonna try again here. I'm not sure why, but it did take me three times to get that done. You know what they say, third time's the charm. On the third time, I did raise the gas fee all the way up to the highest amount, and it seemed to get it done. So maybe if it's not working for you, go ahead and try that. At this point, we're now ready to supply our liquidity. So simply hit the supply button, and we're going to have to confirm once again the exact amount that we're supplying and the total amount of Matic, and go ahead and confirm that. And this should be the final transaction you need to sign in your MetaMask. Transaction submitted. Again, if we want to view on the Blockchain Explorer, we could do that or just simply close this out if you don't want to watch and wait. Okay, that transaction has also been confirmed. And checking back on QuickSwap, if we scroll down, we can now see your position. And it shows 284.1 Matic per sand. And so it actually has the amount here, um, the percentage of the pool that we showed earlier, obviously less than 1% because it is such a small amount. If you're dealing with you know more money than I did, this is about $1,000 worth of Matic and Sand here. So about $500 of each approximately. If you put in a lot more, you can get a bigger percentage. And obviously that means you get a bigger percentage of those gains. But as long as you're seeing this information here, you have properly added your tokens and you now have some liquidity tokens in your wallet. They may not show up in MetaMask. If you click on your MetaMask and click on assets, it's probably not going to show here. You could try to import them, but generally um, the easiest thing to do if you want to check is to go to the Block Explorer and you should see those on the Block Explorer in your wallet. Either way, for our purposes, it doesn't really matter because we know the transaction went through. We know we now have those LP tokens in our wallet. 
it's at this point that you can come back to the sandbox here and we already kind of showed you how to get here but you go to sandbox you log in and click on staking and it's going to give you several options as we showed you before we have the sand option on ethereum that i've showed you in a past video and then we have the m sand which is the matic sand on the matic network so it also looks like up here at the top it's saying you can now enjoy the benefits of staking m sand and only m sand and earn more m sand tune in for announcements and it has another thing right here that's not actually a pair so possibly if you want to just provide sand and you don't want to worry about having matic as a pair on that and putting your lp tokens up it looks like you can do that also from here but i'm not 100 percent sure on that so we're going to just stick to the program and come on down and approve the pair that we just got the liquidity on and go ahead and click approve that's going to prompt you to sign one more transaction and if you're wondering why we need to sign that transaction again when we already approved on QuickSwap is the sandbox does have a separate contract here that we need to approve on. Once that transaction has been confirmed and you've approved the ability to use your Sandmatic here on the sandbox contract, we now see a little drop down arrow. We can click that and we have the ability to deposit. And again, they're going to be those M Sandmatic LP tokens that we are depositing. So if that all looks good, just go ahead and click deposit. Generally, you're going to want to just deposit the maximum amount. And you can see here for me, it's going to be 280. If you're wondering why that number is a little bit different, I actually did the swap in the wrong wallet. So I ended up having to undo that whole process and redo it again on the actual wallet that I was looking to have synced with my sandbox. So just keep that in mind. If you have multiple wallets that you're going to want to do this with the wallet that is connected to your sandbox account. It doesn't really matter for you guys as far as this video goes, but just to let you know, that's why the numbers have changed slightly. If everything looks good, just go ahead and click deposit. One final transaction here and we should be up and staking. All right, now that that transaction has been confirmed, we can come back and see the amount we have deposited, the total value and the share of the earnings. It's also gonna tell you a little bit more information up top here, like the total value locked, the annual percentage rate, the weekly amount of rewards, which is sitting at about 300,000 Matic sand and my total earnings, which is obviously zero because we just got it done. After you've accrued some amount of M sand in your earnings, you can claim them here. And if at any point you want to withdraw or add more, you can just deposit to add more LP tokens or withdraw and basically do the same process in reverse. You just have to sign a few more transactions and get those LP tokens back in your wallet. And then you would have to go back to QuickSwap and withdraw your liquidity there. But that's basically everything you guys need to know to get your M sand staked over on the Matic pair on the Polygon network. Since I do have a little bit more sand in my wallet, as you can see up top here, and you did receive an airdrop of 100 sand if you owned a piece of land from the sandbox, and I did, that's why I have that airdrop. So I wasn't aware that was in my wallet, I kind of forgot about that. But since I have it, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little bonus here, and we're gonna go ahead and try to do it on the single-sided liquidity here, just using the M sand. So coming back up to the top, and again, guys, I wasn't planning this, wasn't aware it was here, but let's just go ahead and do it. Let's approve and see if we can add some single-sided liquidity. Just make sure you sign that transaction and wait for it to be processed. Okay, that transaction is confirmed. At this point, it looks like we can just click the deposit button and choose the amount of sand we'd like to add. Again, I'm gonna max it out and just click get M sand. Another transaction needs to be signed and wait for the transaction to be confirmed. One thing to keep in mind is that the APR on the single sided liquidity is going to be less at 38.22% APR, whereas the double sided liquidity, the pair, is providing a 53.50%. So almost double the earnings if you are providing on the pair, but again, it does require a few more transactions and to provide the LP over on QuickSwap. If you're a beginner, maybe you wanna just get it done over here. Seems like the easier way to just confirm and deposit your sand single-sided, but you are sacrificing about 20% APR. So my transaction has been confirmed on the network and I've refreshed the page a few times and it looks like it's still showing zero deposit. I'm honestly not sure what's going on. Might just be a little bit of glitch in the website. I'm gonna just leave it here for a few minutes and come back and hopefully it's been updated. But that's basically everything you need to do to provide the liquidity single-sided and to provide double-sided liquidity on the Matic Sand pair. If you guys have any questions on this process, you can jump in my Discord, Abraxas, DAO, 
or my Telegram group. Both will be linked in the description below, and I'll go ahead and answer any questions and help you out the best I can. And I'd just like to give you a reminder about my second NFT project, The Chill Cubes, at Chill Cubes on Twitter. We are still minting, and you guys can come over and pick one up, and it will give you access to our game in the sandbox that we're building here. And we also have some sandbox guys coming for the Crypto Pumpkins, if you're a member of that NFT project. So you can find links in the description for both below. Join up, follow us on Twitter. Go ahead and buy yourself a pumpkin off the open sea market. And if you want, the mint is still open at mintdap.link for the chill cubes, which again will give you access to our sandbox game that we're building. That's everything for today's video. Hopefully you guys were able to get this done following along nice and easy. I know we had a couple hiccups, but basically everything worked out. You just need to kind of try a few times on those transactions if they don't go through and everything else will be good. If you did enjoy the content, do smash the thumbs up on the video, share it with a friend or family member on social media or anyone you think may enjoy this content. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought or if you'd like to see any different content in the future. And make sure you follow some of those links to follow me on social media and join up the Abraxas DAO Discord server. Thanks again for watching. Happy crypto. And let's keep getting that coin.